Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be covering how to run an electrical wire conduit or cable or whatever you want to call it um, in the framing member. And this is just one way to do it. I'm going to be using a sort of, I'm going to be using the, the Sketcher workbench outside of part design. Uh, so it gives you some freedom that you don't have in part design. You could also do this with a draft wire, but uh, that can be a little bit more troublesome. So let's get started. So what I'm going to start out with is I'm going to pause a second. I'm going to bring back my whole model so you can see the advantage of, of having groups maybe. I don't know. Let's see. So I have my whole model. It's a work in progress. So please no, no uh, mean comments. <laughs> you, I haven't really gotten many anyway, so thanks for that. Uh, so first I'm going to get rid of my exterior. Let's get rid of the roof. Uh, let's get rid of the two walls. And let's get rid of this north wall. Oh, nope, south wall. <laughs> so that, see how that uh, isolates what you're working on. It's kind of nice. I like that. You could also do that with the part container here, uh, but that uh, adds certain restrictions and you can't move things around. So one of the things I don't like is you see when I toggle the north wall, I have two types of windows and it brought them both back. And I, I would like to figure out some kind of either or sort of thing. But onto the project at hand. So what we're gonna start out with by is, uh, this is my this is my wire, and it was created with a sweep and two sketches. Let me hide the sweep so you can see the sketches. Here's one line, and then there's the um, slot that I sweep swept along the, uh, along the path there. So let me show you how I made that. So let me hide all these, and uh, let's make that. So I'll leave the box here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new sketch on this plane. So I selected the plane, now I'm going to select sketch. And we're going to map the sketch to the flat face of that plane. That seems to work out okay and I haven't seen any problems yet. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I need this to be a regular line, so let's get rid of the construction. And we're going to do a, um, a bezier, or a beast line, sorry, I was, I've been calling that a bezier for a while. So uh, I'm just going to map the general, uh, you know, where I generally want it. And one of the things I always do is I, I put uh, drag points uh, in between each bend because uh, it just seems to help out a little bit. Seems to work out better that way for me. So you, you might get mile, different mileage. So you can either right click or hit escape to end it and that's our basic line. So we're, that's, we're done with that and you see how it kind of runs along it but it's set uh, flat against the face. So to move that in we can go to attachment and let me see if I can explain this correctly. So <clears throat> this orientation right here, you know, up and down here is uh, ZX or the plane that we were working on. Let me see if I can get to it. Nope. Yeah, there we go. So this plane right here is ZX. However, the sketch has its own um, origin. And so when you're working on the sketch, it's going to be, so that's it's XY and it's Z is going to be off off of those planes. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it in the negative Z. So that's gonna be back in this direction here. I hope that makes sense. It's a little hard to visualize with that. So let's move this sketch attachment in the negative Z. So we're gonna go attachment, position, and I'll just show you. So, so that's negative Z. See how it's moving back? So it's so that attachment is relative to the the sketches axes, not the global axes. And that was a uh, sticking point for me for a while. So I'm gonna move it back an inch and a half and that puts it just about right in the middle. Oh wow, I really, I hit those two, missed that one. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to adjust it after you uh, made it a cable. So to make it a cable, I'm just gonna pick the end of this. Let's hide this box so it's easier to see. I'm gonna pick this point here and I'm gonna do another sketch. And you'll see that the attachment is translate because it's basically translating it in space to the end of that point. It is not making it tangent, even though it looks, or I'm sorry, uh, perpendicular. Even though it looks perpendicular in this case, uh, it's not. It just simply translates it to that point. There may be a, uh, a method to make it perpendicular, but I'm not aware of how to do that yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our slot. Let's see if I can do this without mistakes. It seems to make, I seem to make mistakes doing slots. And to make the slot, I'm gonna do two construction lines to constrain its length. I'm gonna do one here and one here. And what we're gonna do is these are both gonna be vertical. Let's 
so they stay vertical and they're both and we're going to make them tangent to the um, curve so that guarantees it's on the midpoint of that curve by making it tangent and vertical and then this is constrained to the line so now you see when you move these lines and this is a good test it changes the uh, changes the slot so let's make the thickness of the slot a quarter of an inch so 0.25 will work and we're going to make the width of the cable and the slot in this case we'll make it uh, three quarters of an inch so 0.75 or no, I think half inch is better. So like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a builder, so I don't know, or an architect, so I don't know these uh, numbers by heart or anything. So I don't know what's happening there. Um, let's see if I can fix that. See how it uh, broke its, broke its, con oh, I see what happened. It made it tangent to this end side of the circle. Okay, so when you find it does something weird like that, what I have found, oh, it did this one too is it doesn't uh freecad doesn't like to move things too far like there's a percentage to which it can move so let's constrain this this to um 0.5 oh, too much uh so like it's like you want the measurement to be close to what it's going to be before you <laughs> before you move it um so let's make that 0.5 inch there so you see how it's it's kind of close so, and I want it to be centered around this point. So let's center it first and then we'll do the construction lines. Now you could just, you know, in your head, subtract the radius and stuff like that, but I don't like to do math. I'm sorry. I like math, but I don't like to do it. So I'm gonna do my construction lines again. Oops, let's get rid of this first. So when you do a, um, a uh, symmetry constraint, it, it negates certain constraints that you don't need. Let's make these vertical again. And let's make them, so now they're tangent again. Now let's bring it real down, real far. And now let's do it. So that sort of thing is, is frustrating because FreePad, you know, it has to try to figure out what you mean. So it doesn't always get that right. So that's close to a half inch. So let's do a half inch. So now you see that it didn't put these tangent on the other side. Uh, and that kind of thing can be frustrating. Um, don't always assume that FreeCAD gets, understands what you mean. I want to, I want to say that FreeCAD gets it right, but it's not wrong. It's just didn't understand what you meant. So now we're going to sweep this, uh, keyhole or, or slot along the line. So first you want to select the object and we're going to do that in the part workbench. So you can do sweeps in the park workbench without it being part of a part, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm going to select sweep and I hope it stays that way. So you notice it doesn't pre it doesn't carry the pre-selection, but I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, so it's that one right there. And then the sweep path will be that sketch. So I'm gonna do sweep path, select the sketch, and done, and then okay. And you see we've got our, our cable. Now, there's a quick aside I wanna show you. See how this is like really rough looking? What you wanna to do to fix that, it's not really broken per se, but to make it look prettier, is this deviation, so I guess, I don't know, a standard deviation maybe? I don't know. Um, so we're just gonna put that at point one. And you can just look at that at, as kind of as, as resolution maybe. Let's see, where is it? So that should, oh, it didn't do it yet, but probably it'll take a minute to calculate or which, oh, I did the wrong thing, sorry. There we go. So now it looks nice and pretty, but that's gonna take more uh, time on your computer. So you may wanna cons consider whether you really want that. And then also, just to make it prettier, I'm just going to do the line size of 0.1. So now it looks a little more professional. And let's set the color of this shape to yellow, because I, I think that's the current color of these things. All right, so now the next thing you say, well, that's great, but it's missing here, missing here, and I'd like, to, I'd like it to look more realistic. So the neat thing about this is that you can just simply take your sketch, your sweet path, That's not, that's the sweep dimension. So let's go find the sweep. My model is getting really confusing here. So this is the sweep path here, sketch 24. Nope, I'll get it. Sketch 23 is our sweep path. And now I can just adjust that to get it exactly the way I want it. So you adjust these by dragging the blue handles. So uh, those two are pretty good. Um, 
like this, you know, it shouldn't be cutting through there. And this is going to want to be right against the thing so you can nail it. And then this will have to be up a little bit. And then let's bring this one in. So it goes through the slot there, sort of. So, and then this is where I talked about um, the draft before is, so with the sketcher, you're going to have trouble doing, it's going to be annoying trying to make this a three-dimensional wire. Basically, we're drawing this wire in two dimensions and making it look 3D. Um, whereas draft can let you do uh, three dimensions a lot of, you know, uh, you can draw the line in three dimensions. So that's basically it. That's uh, what I want to show you today. Could have moved out a little bit better. Um, but that's kind of fun and you could make really nice looking sort of uh, structural drawings of your sheds and houses and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed. That was uh, This was just a quick ad hoc one. I hope you got something out of it. Have a great day.